There are habits you need to end before they end you. If you can eliminate these habits, you will begin to live your best life. It will almost be like you never lived before. In the words of Zeno of Citium, man conquers the world by conquering himself. Zeno's words show the importance of self-mastery as the path to ending harmful habits. You must be a master of your impulses and inclinations. Being stoic is one of the characteristics of Sigma men. They would avoid habits that hold them down to surrounding circumstances and have the grit, determination, and strength to plow through any problem without letting it weigh them down. Let's look at nine habits you need to get rid of right now. These habits are ruining many lives, and you really need to put them to an end in your life. Now, the first step to showing how determined you are to be a better man is to hit that subscribe button right now. Habit 1. Don't seek approval or reward. Maestros, the stoic mindset encourages one to emancipate oneself from the grasp of external validation and material enticements. In the realm of stoicism, true contentment and virtue are found within oneself and are independent of external affirmations. It is therefore not in the nature of the stoic to seek validation or reward for the good they do. Sigma men do things because they need to be done. If their efforts are appreciated, all well and good. If not, it is still well and good. Sigma men won't beat themselves up just because what they did was not rewarded. Flowers will blossom regardless of if they are admired or not. This is also true for Sigma men. The good they do is not because they want the praises of others. They do what they need to do because it is the right thing to do. When one seeks external validation, they place their sense of worth in the hands of others. Stoicism urges you to cultivate an internal garden of virtue where your self-esteem and approval come from your own principles and actions, not from the opinions of others. As Marcus Aurelius would say, very little is needed to make a happy life. It is all within yourself, in your way of thinking. You do not need the praise or approval of anyone before you can be satisfied with the good you do. You can find happiness within yourself in all you do. Sigma men live by their internal convictions and not by the praises of people. They find intrinsic satisfaction in living a virtuous life. The Stoics teach us that our true worth is based on our adherence to moral principles, not on the praises or material gains we receive from others. Epictetus, a revered Stoic philosopher, emphasized the importance of distinguishing between what is within our control and what is not. Seeking approval is beyond our control as it relies on the actions and perceptions of others. However, choosing to live a virtuous life is entirely within our control. The Stoic sage focuses on what they can control, their actions, choices, and character. By letting go of the desire for approval, we free ourselves from the anxieties tied to external outcomes. Habit 2. Being busy doing nothing. Friend, have you ever felt exhausted but when you think about it, you have not been productive all day. You had a lot of activities, but it all did not matter because you were not using your time well. Being busy doing nothing is like stuffing your stomach with junk. Yes, you are eating a lot but the quality of what you are eating is low. You could have filled up with healthy food but you chose the low quality ones instead. This is the same situation with using your limited time to do tasks. You're always doing something, but it doesn't bring you closer to your goals or make you a better person. Maybe it's scrolling through social media endlessly, binge watching TV shows, or constantly checking how many likes your Instagram pictures have received so far. Stoicism teaches us to be mindful of what we put on our life's plate. It encourages us to choose nourishing and meaningful tasks, like spending quality time with loved ones, working towards personal growth, or fixing things that are broken. Instead of piling on mindless activities, we should carefully choose what really adds value to our lives. Habit 3. Procrastination. Procrastination is one dangerous habit that seems so innocent. You may feel like you will just put off a task for just an hour, but guess what? You will never get that task done, or you will be doing it when it is too late. In the world of Stoic philosophy, being virtuous, embodying qualities like wisdom, courage, justice, and self-control, 
is paramount. But procrastination leads us away from virtue. Imagine each time we procrastinate, we're straying from becoming our best selves. The ancient Stoics emphasize that our time is a valuable gift, and wasting it in procrastination denies us the opportunity to grow morally. Epictetus, a wise Stoic, would counsel us to recognize what we can control. Procrastination, being a matter of choice, is within our power to overcome. It's not the task itself that's the issue, but our response to it. Understanding this can set you on the stoic path towards a more virtuous life. Habit 4. Anxiety. The ancient stoic Seneca had a wise saying, We often make things worse in our minds than they are in reality. In simple terms, we often imagine bad stuff that might not really come true, and this is where anxiety messes with us. To be more stoic, we need to fight against this habit. To be stoic, you need to accept what you can't change and let go of unnecessary fears. This is like having a strong castle inside you that anxiety can't break into. Sigma men don't bother with things beyond their control. They are not afraid of stepping into the unknown. Sometimes anxiety is a product of desperation. When you are desperate to get something, you become more scared of losing that thing. Instead of being desperate, Sigma men are logical and realistic with their expectations. Because of this, they are never anxious. Habit 5. Never go halfway. Life is like baking a cake. Would you stop halfway and expect it to turn out delicious? No way, you follow through mixing all the ingredients, baking it, and patiently waiting for the delightful result. In everyday life, if you set a goal, like getting fit, you don't just exercise a little and stop. You commit to regular workouts and a healthy diet. Going halfway won't get you the strong, fit body you desire. They say that whatever is worth doing at all is worth doing well. If you think you should be doing it at all, then you must commit to doing it well, my friend. It goes beyond completing tasks. It also has to do with your character. If you want to be a good person, you can't just be kind sometimes. You need to embrace kindness in all your actions every day. Now here's a thought to ponder. What if in fully committing to your dreams and goals, you find a profound sense of purpose and fulfillment? Picture reaching the end of the recipe and tasting that perfectly baked cake how satisfying. It's the same in life. Reaching your goals with full commitment can bring deep satisfaction and happiness. Never go halfway. Let your dedication light up your path to success. Habit 6. Wasting your time. Time is like gold. It's valuable and limited, but it is even more precious because when you waste time, you're essentially squandering a resource you can never get back. The Stoics believe that time is one of the few things we truly have control over. The wisdom of Seneca rings true. It is not that we have so little time, but that we lose so much. The life we receive is not short, but we make it so. We are not ill provided, but use what we have wastefully. Let's break down Seneca's words into simple, everyday language and relate it to our lives. Seneca is telling us that our complaint of having too little time is misguided. We actually have enough time, but we often waste it. Life isn't actually short. We just tend to rush through it without truly living each moment. It's like having a beautiful book, but only skimming the pages, missing the essence of the story. Seneca is nudging us to embrace our time and opportunities fully. Habit 7. Don't overlook what needs to be addressed. If there is a problem, if there is a task, if there is something that will be beneficial to you in the future, then you need to do it right away. Sigma men think like efficient machines. They try to accomplish as much as they can as efficiently as possible. This is also true when justice is demanded. They say evil thrives when good men keep quiet. In the face of oppression and injustice, Sigma men rise. They are champions of equity and will not let evil have its way. Habit 8. Stop resisting change. Heraclitus says that life is like a river and is constantly moving. Each time you step into the river, it is not the exact same. Some things have changed, and that is the same with life. It is not a stoic thing to fight change. 
Instead, you must embrace it and be willing to constantly learn. Forget what you think you know and learn more. Imagine refusing to learn how to use computers or mobile phones at this age. That is how important it is to keep learning and be ready to accept that things cannot remain the same. Habit 9. Emotional Attachment The primary aim of being stoic is to learn to control our emotions. Maestras, you do not let your emotions rule your mind if you want to be free. You must instead embrace logical reasoning and detachment from things you cannot change. Attachment is reliance. It is slavery. When you put your emotions first, you make yourself a slave to your emotions. The pathways to stoicism are through discipline, objectivity, and finding inner peace. Begin to cut these habits off and see your life become more wholesome. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel, like this video, and watch this one as well. Thanks for watching.